What's up weirdos, Shade Tree Surgeon here with another hair scramble video and this time we're going back to Mondon Hill. If you guys remember Mondon Hill from last year, you know it was a race I was incredibly excited about because it was the race that made me actually want to do hair scrambles. So I went into it just with so excited and so stoked. It was the third race I ever did and I absolutely, totally bombed. place. I did absolutely horrendous. I think I crashed a total of nine times, one of which was rolling down the biggest hill there with the motorcycle on my back. Needless to say, it was a little embarrassing. But we're headed back this year. I've got a lot more skill underneath my belt, although I still consider myself to be a total newbie when it comes to riding dirt bikes. And Mondon Hill is one of the toughest courses that we'll see all year. It's very technical. It's up and down. It's got a lot of elevation changes, there's mud, there's hill climbs, there's rocks, there's everything you can think of in Florida is at this race. And since it's one of the most exciting courses of the year, it's one of the most highly attended races ever. So when you get out there at Mondon Hill, there is a lot of other motorcycles on the course. One of the only disadvantages I'm going to have as compared to last year is that my electric start is still not working. I can't complain about it too much because old Yama Gang has never had an electric start and he does just fine. In fact, he got first place in the last race. So I need to shut my whining pie hole and just kick the bike like people have been doing to dirt bikes since the beginning of dirt biking period. My real worry is that I'm gonna get somehow twisted up in the middle of a hill climb and not be able to kick my bike and have to go all the way back down. I just, eh, whatever. Basically what I should try to do is not stall out in the middle of a hill climb and do my best to kick the bike once at the beginning of the race and never have to kick it again. And as per usual, I do have to work the night before. I'm actually recording this right before I load up the truck and head into the pub to bartend for 12 hours before I then head out to Mondon Hill to race. So if you guys are new to this channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button. Make sure you leave a like on the video. Make sure you leave me a comment. It all helps out so much and I really appreciate it. Well, let's toss this bike in the back of the truck, get all my stuff loaded up, and head into the pub. Alright guys, driving into the sunset as I head into the pub in the Fleur Dooley, but uh, gotta make a quick pit stop before we go up there and see Dylan to uh, get every little advantage that I can. I'm gonna have him uh, flip my rear tire around in the hopes that that extra little bit of traction will save me from stalling out or going sideways in the middle of the hill climb. I don't know if it's gonna, if it's gonna help at all, but I'll take all the confidence I can get. Get this on video. So Kyle, Kirsten, and Steve all came up here, and Kyle was cold, so he bought a flannel from the Harley Davidson dealership. He says he didn't know what was inside the sleeves, but go ahead and bust them out there, buddy. On one side we have "Don't Fuck with Me." <laughs> yeah, and the other side, one of a kind. This is what happens when you buy a Harley Davidson. <laughs> Speed and strength. <laughs> Way to go, tough guy. All right, guys, I got something a little bit different for you today. Normally, this is the part of the video where I kind of film what my night's like bartending at the Dirty Shame and what goes on there. But instead of doing that, I thought I'd try something a little bit off the wall. So I gave the camera that I normally use to record to two regulars who come to the Dirty Shame all the time. And I said, you take this camera, go out in Ybor City, and film whatever the hell happens. So they did just that, and here's the video from it. I present the girls' night out.
sue me? <laughs> you wanna sue me? Sue me, I dare ya! I dare ya! Say it to the camera, ladies! getting ready to roll out to Mondon Hill. We got the YZ250, Dylan loaded up the cooler back here. And believe it or not, we've talked Mr. Motocross himself, Dave, heavy artillery DC into suiting up his motocross KTM and heading out with us boys to do a hair scramble. So we're gonna see how he does today. Say hi, Savannah. People were asking about you. <laughs> <laughs> so as always, right about now, I'm actually feeling fine. <laughs> so I, I feel like after work around 5.30 in the morning, I go through this weird manic uh, third wind stage, and I'm just like, man, I'm ready to go 100 miles an hour and do this right now. But I'm definitely going to crash before we actually start, start the race, and I'm going to need a nap. So Dave's having to go back up there and ask what his number is, because he went up there, got a number for the FTR, and literally forgot it on his way back, so we can't put it on his bike yet. So the mystery still remains. What number <laughs> did Dave Chapman get? Always forgetful. <laughs> so, <laughs> Wes put on a pit bike race yesterday here, and he won it. A little suspect. <laughs> I was actually expecting to get beat because one of the guys that was racing was a fucking pro. <laughs> did you record the pit bike race yeah. too? Are you going to have that up? Oh, I got to see that. I'll have that link down below. <laughs> We're all like talking, reminiscing here. So, Mondon Hill was Dylan's very first race he ever did. It was also the first race that we did with Wes. And now it's gonna be Dave's first race, hopefully, if he passes tech. Wes kind of pointed out that we've made a habit of making the most technical and dangerous race of the year people's very first race they do. Um, whether that's a good idea or not remains to be seen. We'll trial by out. fire. Yeah, exactly, trial by fire. We'll find out in a little while. All right, once again, I started getting ready before everybody, but somehow I'm still last. I don't know exactly how that happens. Ooh, good idea, Dave. 
All right, it's go time. Dave filling up his one and a half gallon tank. He's gonna have to pit today. Holy mackerel. Look at this. Man, we're not lining up with my man Kevin anymore. What's up, dude? Kevin moved, moved himself up to B class. Damn, Dylan, I couldn't even barely find you without my glasses on. I mean, my Sport RX prescription inserts get 10% off with code SHATREES10 at checkout. <clears throat> um, <laughs> you guys know Andy from the pub, handle security up there. Out here at the race today, supporting, holding the bike up for us. Dude, thank right you, on. man. Makes me super happy you're out here. Seriously, man, I'm so stoked that you made it out for this. That really thank makes me happy, fun. man. The more people we got doing it, the more fun it is, you know? Don't be a hero. That could have gone badly. didn't want to do that but in it now Almost didn't make it up that one. <sighs> Golly, 
Come on now. That's not fucking good. I'm going all the way back down to the bottom. God fucking damn it. God damn it. I feel your pain, buddy. I just did the same fucking thing. Get your shit together, buddy. You're not doing good. So far, this first lap is a total disaster. <laughs> I was riding the practice lap so well. Note to sell, just because somebody faster than you takes a line doesn't mean it's a good one. Ooh, at least not a good one for you. Damn. Things are getting uglier and uglier. <laughs> Remember what I said in the practice lad about that swallowing bikes? Shit. Hope he's all right. A lot of people getting hurt today. Let's not be one of them. Hopefully I got my bonehead moves out of the way for today. That I might have another colossal fuck up up my sleeve. You just wait. See if I can uh, not crash right after somebody cheers me on. <laughs> manage, manage to pull it off. Thank you, whoever whoever was cheering me on. I didn't get a look at who it was. close one. Wasn't trying to roost anybody, but whew, it may have happened. <laughs> Something tells me that was Mr. Number One. Try not to be such a fuck up in the last lap, I'll be honest with you. Got some personal shit going on in my head right now. It's just not letting me focus like I should. I mean, I got an excuse for everything, but god damn, dude. I'm not saying I'd get number one. <laughs> I didn't have all this other shit mulling around in my brain, but I'd probably be doing a damn sight better than I am doing right now. God damn it.
Holy moly. Thank you, whoever that was. I hope I didn't spray you full of fucking rocks as a as a you're welcome. That was pathetic. Oh, so I saw him Dumb mistakes today. My man. <laughs> that makes me feel a little better. Somebody's here cheering me on. I don't even have the energy to curse at myself because I'm tired, man. I'm just like... <sighs> Focus on other shit makes it hard to fucking <sighs> get up the energy to actually care about racing right now. It's usually a bummer. Usually, no matter what I'm doing, Racing makes me feel a little bit better. Uh, today is not my day. I wonder if he'd be out here. 
Oh, they let me go for three laps, so at least there's that. Gonna be a sad sack of shit. Might as well at least try to make your last lap your best lap. <laughs> Set at least one goal. Try not to crash in your last lap. How about that? I know I'm not beating anybody else. I might as well set a goal against myself. Oh, damn. Good pass around a shitty rider, buddy. Good job. <laughs> Not by me, by you. <laughs> you should be proud of that. <sighs> Put my feet down, but I haven't crashed yet. Turntable wobbles, but it don't fall down. Come on. One full lap without a wreck. <laughs> messy, but I'm still on the bike. That's what counts. That was almost it. Oh. Ah. That was almost it too, but it wasn't. Got ripped out about a fistful of beard. <laughs> I left it on one of those vines, but... That's all right. Sucker needed a trim anyway. Well, so much for making that without falling down. <laughs> hey, what's up, man? What's happening, man? I picked a good fucking place for this shit, didn't I? Let me get this ass end out of the way. Dude, you are a fucking lifesaver. Damn, dude, you saved my ass. That would have taken me like 10 fucking minutes. And I say thank you by kicking you. Way to go, dipshit. Way to fucking go. <sighs> I smell clutch. <laughs> God. Fucking damn it, dude. You fucking asshole. Buddy, that guy's playing for keeps. <laughs> Come on, dude. You just gotta try a little harder. You just try. God damn, dude. Almost at the end, but... Something tells me probably not gonna quite make it for my third lap to count. That's all right. So I fucking did it. <sighs> my man, thank you. <laughs> oh, yikes. Nice. It's camouflage. They never see me coming.
What's up guys, Shade Tree Surgeon back in the garage for a after race report, I guess. If you guys made it this far in the video, you'll know that this race didn't exactly go according to plan. Although, even though I felt like I was doing super bad, I still managed to finish 10th place out of 20 people who started the race. So that's mid pack, that's about what I usually do. The problem really was that it just was a very frustrating race for me personally, and it just goes to show you how a bad mental attitude can affect you so heavily in a race like this. And it's not even that it affected my riding that much. Apparently the course was just as hard for a lot of other people because I finished about where I usually finish. What it really ended up affecting is how good a time I had. I know a lot of you guys who watch these are always like, Shade Tree Surgeon, you're too hard on yourself. You yell at yourself during these races. And you know, I do yell at myself, but that's part of how I motivate myself. And honestly, I'm happy fun when I'm doing that. I'm just talking shit to myself. I'm a shit talker and I talk the most shit to this guy right here. And as you see in this video, I couldn't even bring myself to do that. And it just, yeah, it was, it was frustrating. It was frustrating to let something that wasn't in the race take over my mind and prevent me from both running the best race that I could and also, most importantly, having a good time because I go to these things to have a good time. You know, it would have been easy for me to edit this a different way or pretend like everything was fine, but I've always tried to be really honest in my videos. That includes being honest when uh, what's going on up here isn't always the happiest. So if this was a little more depressing to watch than my normal videos or not as fun, I apologize for that, but I'm always real with you guys and this is me being real. What I'm gonna take away from this though is to not let this happen again not if I can prevent it because these races are some of the the most fun that I have I look forward to them almost more than anything else so I I don't want to let this happen again and the fact that I can look back at this I look through the footage I just saw myself just feeling sorry for myself and being a sad sack of shit and boohoo poor Josh got his fucking feelings hurt like shut the fuck up dude looking back at that seeing it and realizing it helps me get in the mindset of saying, you know what? I don't want to let that happen again. I'm not going to let that happen again. So I'm coming into the next race with a fresh mindset. I'm going to have fun. I'm not going to let anything stand in my way of both running a good race and having a good time. And all that being said, it's not like I had a bad time. Even a bad day on dirt bikes beats a good day working. So until next time, guys, if you made it this far, thank you so much for supporting these videos. If you subscribe, leave me a comment, leave a like on the video. It helps out a great deal. And as always, huge thanks to my Patreon supporters. Without you guys, going to these races would not be possible. You are the reason that these videos get made, and I thank you. Until the next race, keep it weird, y'all.